Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and I have a real treat for you today. This is a beautiful, old, locked Chubb Cruiser padlock. And this is a, a, a beautiful, old, and if I may say so, very greasy lock. Um, that is a pass around from Safecracker33 on the UK Lock Sport Forum. If you're into lock picking, uh, please go check out the forum. You do not have to be from the UK. In one of my last videos, you saw me pick an era mortise curtained five lever door lock. Um, and this is a five lever padlock. It works in a very similar way. Inside here will be five levers. And what will need to happen is you retract the locking pole back from the shackle when you open it. How do you get in? Well, if you remember uh, that era door lock, you replicate the action of a key by providing tension with something like this, which is a cut down key, but there are spe specific tension tools for curtain door locks. And what you do then is you use a wire lever lifter to act on each lever in turn. You can do something similar with these padlocks. You can get a couple of these um, wires, use one, put one in, and that will go in, and that will tension the, um, the, the lock, and then you can use another one to go in and manipulate each lever in turn inside by turning it and lifting those levers. So you can do that. Uh, there are plenty of um, uh, tools out there designed for um, lifting non-curtain padlocks. But there is another way. Safecracker33, the skilled genius that he is, has made this beautiful two-in-one pick. Two-in-one? Well, it, the first tip acts as a tension on the, uh, the levers, and this second tip picks the levers in turn. Just compare that to the setup I um, I had here for uh, my curtained lever lock, and you can see that they are remarkably similar in action. It's just that one holds them together and is a little easier to uh, to handle. I have to say. So there we go. You can see how that they they are in some ways very similar. So Safecracker Thirty Three made this with his bare hands and it is a beautiful piece of um, engineering I have to say I, I am so impressed by this you can buy commercial um, you can buy commercial lever tools uh, and two-in-ones uh, but this is handmade and, and um, all the better for it you can see there that uh, there are marks so you can see where the tips uh, line up in the lock and the action is thus that you'd put this in into the lock to the back um, I'm just going to turn it a little more so you can see and you pr provide tension by um, tensioning the lock clockwise until you feel the, the tension um, bind up against those levers. You would then, um, you can see where the, the tip is because um, it's got a little groove there, then what you do is you'd m move the tip up and down the lever stack, uh, trying to find a binding one and moving it gently up and moving on to the next binder, the next binder, the next binder. You'll slowly cycling through those levers one by one, uh, move the levers closer and closer to all um, uh, getting, well, all aligning their gates, which will allow the, um, the mechanism inside to retract into the gates, releasing the shackle. Okay, so should we give that a go? Let's give it a go. Now the aim here is not to add massive amounts of tension, it's just enough to hold the levers, which by the way isn't a lot. Just like uh, pin tumbler picking, you usually need less tension than you think. Uh, another thing is, again, you don't want to overturn um, your uh, tip on these locks either, because what you'll end up doing, if I just uh, gently remove it for you, um, there we go. He says, come on, there we go. Um, what you end up doing is you can overlift the levers. Now, I think that Safecracker 33 has shortened this lever lifting tip so that what you can't do 
is damaged levers or indeed the the tip of this two in one pick by um, pushing up too far what will happen with this is it'll slide under the lever um, and rotate all the back, way back around again we still want to avoid that though because there's no need to do it just be gentle uh, with these two in ones uh, um, get it to the back apply some moderate tension and we'll um, go up and down the levers stack um, starting with um, lever one at the back and going to lever five at the front or at least that's how I'm going to number them so um, moderate tension on lever one is springy you can see it's springy there it's um, so we leave it you move to two okay it's bound so just move it up a bit until it's springy again three up until it's springy four up until it's springy again five springy back to the front this isn't a race you've got to take your time and cycle through these uh, this lever stack okay you'll get closer to the truth each time don't overdo it and it will pay dividends in the end okay okay I think I felt a little core movement there so uh or a little movement in the mechanism at least. Okay. On four, lever four, lever five, back to the beginning. One. Two. It's bound now, three. Five, one, two, three, four, five. I think I we'll feel we're getting closer now. One, two. Three. And I think we want open. There we go. There we go. He's open. Now, uh, what we can do now it's open is close it back up and gently. That, um, so that's that's fully open now. Is uh, gently um, apply some on pin one. Just apply a little bit of tension. Uh, clockwise and turn this back there we go and I believe that then we can retract the whole thing um, out of the lock if we're careful there we go Boop. there we go and there we go it's picked so this and and relocked so that is a chub cruiser pass around from safecracker 33 it's a uh, really good fun to pick with a two-in-one pick. I might go look for some uh, two-in-ones or some uh, bespoke lever padlock picks because I really enjoyed that. And um, just thank you for the opportunity uh, to allow me to, um, to to pick one of these locks. I probably would never have uh, done one of these if I hadn't been given that opportunity and um, a beautiful handmade two-in-one tool to do that with. Okay, hope you found that interesting. Um, if you did, then you might want to go check out some um, uh, lever uh, lock tools and lever lock picking stuff yourself. Okay, I'll see you next time.